right, today we're going to be building a B vacuum, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. This is going to be a multi-part series in building and assembling a bee hive vacuum for going out and acquiring bees from an extraction from a building or even a swarm. After uh, viewing many YouTube videos on bee vacuums to get an idea on how one works and how best to build one, I gleaned a little bit from uh, several different videos to come up with what I feel is a better design or a good design to uh, eliminate the stress and trauma on the bees themselves to help mitigate a, a large amount of stress and trauma on the bees. The base I gleaned from, it's a variation, my base is a variation of one fellow's base. The cover is a variation of another fellow's cover for his bee vacuum. And then I incorporated some of my own design to make the thing work optimally. This is video one and we're going to go ahead and cut the parts and I'll give you the parts list of uh, all the parts that we're going to need in the beehive and I'll also give you the, dim the dimensions of each uh, piece of wood that I'll be cutting. So let's get busy. So my materials list is a one by two and a half by eight foot long pine board, a one inch by three and a half inch by eight foot long pine board, a 12 inch wide by one inch thick by four foot long pine board and a, a cut sheet of plywood that I bought uh, this size out of the or the orange big box store it is a quarter inch plywood and it's two feet wide and four feet long so that is the list of the wooden materials that we'll be using the other parts you're going to need or products is uh, I got some aluminum screening uh, for my top board and I'll show you uh, what that attaches to. I also purchased two of these clamps and you'll understand once I get it all together on what everything's for. Right now I'm just giving you the parts list. I also went down to the big orange box store and I purchased some sponge window seal that's one inch wide. Uh, actually this is three quarters inch wide but it'll fit perfectly on top of that one inch block. So this will get a good seal around the top and uh, bottom board when you put them on the supers to be able to get a good suction so you're not losing vacuum. And I bought two of them for enough for the top and bottom. And then I also bought uh, for $21.99 one of these uh, bucket heads that, that just fits onto a uh, five gallon bucket or a seven gallon bucket. It's a, a little vacuum and this will be my vacuum unit. I'm going to modify it by this little coupler and this ball valve so I can adjust the uh, vacuum so I'm not having full vacuum sucking the bees in. Okay, we're going to work on the lid first. Uh, the first cut is 16 and 1 quarter inch. The second cut is 16 and 1 quarter inch. The next cut is 18 and 5 16 inches. The 
And the final cut for this board on the lid is another 18 and 5 16 inches. And this is a leftover piece of wood. The next step is to cut a 1 quarter inch wide groove here on the top of all these boards. And this is where I'm going to set up my saw because I want to cut in a groove here about a quarter inch deep. Okay, I have my saw blade set to where it's going to cut a 1 quarter inch uh, deep hole, a, a slice out of this wood. And I've got it set on the fence out to where it's going to trim one quarter in. Now we're going to make the 19 inch cut. Now these five pieces are the pieces to your lid. And um, then we'll put it together down in the shed. But right now I'm cutting the wood up here by the saw. Now that we have all the pieces cut for our project, uh, we're going to go ahead and conclude this video and we'll see you guys in the next video where we will assemble the cover. And in the following video, we'll assemble the base. Stay tuned. I am your host, Jerry Hansen, here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you for joining me. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you in that next video. Bye-bye.